They asked me uh, to send you an email of just a comparison of all three of these reactions. Uh, and I'm not going to actually draw out the mechanism, but I'm just going to try to give you some ways that we can kind of make some comparison and some contrast between the two. The first thing that kind of jumps out of my mind, at least, is that both the Pockle 3 and the, I'm just going to call it Sockle 3, they both tend to use a nitrogenous base called pyridine. They both use a nitrogenous base called pyridine. Um, and then... Uh, obviously PPR doesn't, but I'm just going to go ahead and write down Pockel 3 here. It's an E2 mechanism, elimination to a mechanism. Uh, the leaving group, I'm just going to say LG, the leaving group in that reaction looks like this. So the rest of your molecule, the oxygen has two lone pair, or two uh, lone pairs of electrons attached to it. P O C L 2. Okay? And so there's going to be just this little chlorine anion floating around there. We don't really care about that though. And uh, I'm going to switch colors if I can. What does in the Pockel 3 reaction? Just remember that pyridine. deprotonates twice. Okay, first we're going to deprotonate the OH group of that alcohol to make that the leaving group for it. And then we're going to have to deprotonate for the, you know, the elimination reaction itself on the beta carbon there. Okay, so Sockel, again, SOCl2, we know that it's going to have an SN2 reaction mechanism. We do need pyridine as well though in that reaction mechanism. The leaving group for this one at least is in our molecule oxygen two lone pairs connected to is sulfur look they both have lost chlorine in this reaction here I'm not going to draw out the mechanism. You can look that up. There's a picture of it in your book. It's pretty, it's pretty decent. Uh, it's, it's not the most helpful, but it's an SN2 reaction mechanism. So I'm going to see if I can't switch colors here. So obviously, if it's an SN2 reaction mechanism, we're going to have a Cl here minus. It's going to act as a good nucleophile for this reaction here, thus pulling that off of the group. Now, again, just like when we talked about with the Pockel here, pyridine is going to do a deprotonation reaction. Protonates. I can't spell. It takes off of a hydrogen. Deprotonates, but in this context, it's only going to deprotonate one time when we're initially forming that alcohol. So let's move on to PBR, and there's no more pyridine, so we're done with that. But we know that with the PBR, the leaving group, and this reaction, and this is where it's kind of, this is the outlier, or I mean, I should say the outlier among the three, but really the one that I, makes the most sense, at least in my head, as a leaving group, it's going to be an oxygen with a positive formal charge. It's going to, obviously there's going to be the hydrogen there, of the oxygen, the phosphorus, um, that, that's actually, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm leaving some stuff out, uh, in doing that, PBR, BR, um, there's a, it should say PBR3, sorry, actually I'll switch to white, PBR3, and so there's the first two, where's the, the last bromine, it's going to come in here and do an SN2, nucleophile attack the bromine will so that's the I guess a, a comparison of all three of those um, in case you in case that wasn't uh, I guess obvious let me just throw it. these are all three of these are uh, alcohol reactions.